Ladies and gentlemen, I come with you with exciting news of all support players in Dark and Darker. Druid is released. Look, it's me. I'm on Druid. Look, spell shapeshift perk and skills. So the gist that I've got from this class so far is that it is indeed going to be a support kind of class this is like first impressions first looks at so i'm gonna go through everything really quick with you guys and then i'm gonna give you my thoughts and opinions as a cleric man on what do i think about all this so i'm fucking hyped this shit looks sick i am so happy that we're getting a fucking support class guys this is gonna be a banger so anyways let's get started so the first thing is enhanced wildness while you are in animal form you gain five additional move speed and 10 armor rating um i don't really Ooh, wait sorry you guys are Hearing something that you shouldn't be hearing. Uh, don't really know what I feel about this immediately. I don't know how the animal forms are going to work. But we'll see shortly. Uh, force of nature. So I'm more focused on the support side of Druid. Force of nature. When you heal a target, the target gains three physical power for three seconds. This seems fucking crazy. This seems nuts. This seems very good. Uh, three fizz power isn't a lot, but I'm sure maybe there's modifiers for buff duration. It's just like a free stat three fist power i mean it's not a lot maybe it's not gonna be the best but so far what we have herbal sensing to detect nearby herbs whatever rp perk uh natural healing looks sick but one health every three seconds definitely needs to be a bit increased because this is very low this is very 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 low um when you cast spirit magic you gain 10 magic power that is a lot of magic power i don't know what spirit magic is specifically they don't really specify it but we'll have to go and check it out Sun and Moon. Nearby allies gain 3 Vigor, 5 Magic Power. This seems really good. This is like a mini kind of jokester kind of thing. Uh, 3 Vigor is quite a bit. 5 Magic Power is quite a bit. This is probably something you're going to want to run if you have like a Cleric or a Wizard on your team or something like that. And then Thorn Cope. When, when melee attack return, 5 true physical damage to the attacker. This seems OP as hell. 5 true physical damage upon every hit from an enemy is a lot because it's true, right? So, uh, my perks I really like. I like Force of Nature, I like Natural Healing, I like Spirit Magic Mastery, and I like Sun and Moon. That's probably the four perks I would run so far, first impression-wise. Um, we're gonna get some gameplay here in a second as well, boys. So now for the perks, or the, the uh, spells. So, Nature's Touch. Oh my god. Chat, we have hots. We have fucking feelings over time. Oh my god. Target gains 15 additional recoverable health and also healed 15 health over 12 seconds. Over 12 seconds, hot. So like we can we can put healing dots on targets and like let them naturally heal over time. This is sick. This is the this is a must tank. That is banger. Uh, bars bark skin armor i was literally just talking to todd about this or somebody a few days ago where like they should add a spell where it increases the armor rating of the target oh my god it's like more like like i was talking about like a bless but like on your stats this is sick i'm i'm so excited for this oh my god i'm i am so happy i am joyful right now Summons a treant to fight with you for 12 seconds. Treants become more powerful when summoned underwater. That is a really cool interaction, but there's not a lot of underwater spots in Dark and Darker, so... Um, <coughs> definitely sick, though. Entangling vines. Spread roots across the floor in a 1 meter radius. La that lasts for 6 seconds. Any targets that pass through the area of effect are frozen in place for 3 seconds. Wait, this is busted. This has to be busted for a three cost, by the way. This is definitely getting nerfed. This is, like, way better than Earthquake, I feel like. Uh, Thorn Barrier. Creates a Thorn Barrier? That Dude, this is, this is a banger. This class is a banger, chat. Creates a Thorn Barrier that lasts for 10 seconds. Any character stands near the Thorn Barrier will take 10 physical damage per second. Bro, I need to see what that does, too. I need to see the trance, too. There's so many things I need to see, chat. There's so many things, so many things uh deals 15 magical damage within the 15 meter radius any allies or self currently affected by nature's touch oh combo nature's touch and dream fire high skill ceiling to supports oh that is sick oh my god restore restore the health of all allies within oh more hots this is a banger there's so much good shit create a forest area centered around you within a three meter spell 
radius. Targets in the area gain 10% max health bonus. Oh, oh my god, chat. Chat. I don't know. Spout a tree of life. Granting 5 all attributes and gaining 40 additional recoverable health. I don't know what that... So, okay, I guess the idea is like... You, uh... I think the what the gist that I'm getting is like all this stuff like you add recoverable health to your target and then the hots will like in heal them for that recoverable health so it's like a two step process okay we're trying we're gonna try all this shit here chat we're gonna try everything but for now I want to try just these uh let me see holy cow let's try these cool ones first uh under the treants and tingling vines now let's look at the shape shift okay default character so. For you guys that don't know, it goes spell memory shapeshift, and you have two shapeshifts. Right now, it's only one page of shapeshift. Transforms into a wild bear. Slow and too large to pass through single doors. Gain 10% physical damage bonus reduction. That is really cool. Okay, so this is like tank form. Transforms into a wild rat. It is small in size and moves quickly, but has very little stamina. You can pass under regular closed doors. Gain 10% move speed bonus. Was 95% max health bonus. Wow, so you get one shot. Panther. Uh, high speed, high jumping ability. Wait, lose 30. Okay, okay. Wall jump? Chicken. Chickens can spread their wings and fly for a while. Okay, chat. Let's get in here. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get in here, chat. Let's go. As, as soon as it matches us. Okay, let's go. Okay, this is too small. Is there anything like mine? Oh, he's a chicken! Look at the tree! Look at the bear! Oh my god! Chat. Chat. What is going on here? What is going on here, chat? Oh my god. How do you guys feel about this so far? Let me know in the comments below. I'm excited. I'm so excited to see all this shit, boys. Holy cow. Chat, this is gonna be fucking hype. I'm so excited. Chat, I might swap off quick. Alright, let's see these forms. So we have human. Okay, default. Bear. Oh my! Oh! With Wild Fury, it doesn't say. Uh, it doesn't say what Wild Fury does. I'm a fucking bear, chat! I'm a fucking bear! Can I break these? Let's get active, mother sucker! Oh! Oh my god! I'm gonna- I'm getting active! I'm getting active! Ugh. All right, that's cool. Rat. Oh, survival instinct. I can't see it. Can't go under doors. La da dee, la da doo, la da da. Little rat. Oh, I'm getting active. Ooh. This is so troll. Put the panther. Rush is definitely up for move speed. Wall jump. I can do a wall jump apparently. Ready? Okay, this this does not work. Wall jump is a work in progress. Oh my god, I'm lagging. That's what's happening. Okay. Uh chicken now. <laughs> Oh! Oh! I'm lagging so hard! Oh my god. Alright, let's try some new spells. I'm gonna try other stuff. Holy cow, this is exciting. Alright, so we did these. I wanna try Tree of Life. I wanna try Mending Grove or Nature's Touch. Sparks, maybe, uh, Thorn Barrier? 
Hmm, Tree of Life, Thorn Barrier, Nature's Touch. I'll try Dream Fire. Dream Fire sounds cool. We'll try these for now. All right, let's get in there. All right, let's try this stuff now, chat. Thorn Barrier. Oh! The fucking it's Kuma. Is this this is look at all this? This is like the, this is the mending grove. Like holy strike. Oh, so divine. All right, chat. Now we're gonna test the tree of life. Ready? Huh? Huh? Where is it? Maybe like grow I got grow out of enemy or some shit. Ready? Sprout tree life. Tree life, come to me. Huh? Oh, well, that's it, chat. Anyways, I'm excited for Druid. I think it might be my new main because uh, there's a lot more healing options and support options than utility options compared to cleric. I feel like Druid is kind of what I want a cleric to be. Maybe I'll play both in each case because Claire can still heal and Druid can still heal, but Druid doesn't have access to res, I suppose, which is a pretty important part. But anyways, I'm just really excited, guys. I'm so excited. This is going to be sick. Very hyped. This is, I'm going to be playing this guy a lot. Anyways, thank you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And yeah, ta-ta. Bye-bye.